To animate a character, inverse kinematics allows you to set up the legs so that moving either the feet or the hips causes the knee to bend appropriately. You are again going to pull out some joints from the main skeleton and set them up using kin effects. You again blend the results back into the original hierarchy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom back in. Now let's we're going to use a lot of these skeleton blends. So let's name these, and we'll name this one uh, controls. Let's make it easier to find them down the line. Pull this bone to form down because we're going to keep layering more and more stuff onto here. We're again going to pull out a delete joints node. Oops. Actually, let's put it down this way. Delete joint node. We're going to put that over here and we're going to display that. Now on the arrow next to group, we are going to select those three joints and those three joints and press enter and delete non-selected. So we're going to focus just on getting this to function as a kinematic solution. Now we're going to go tab reparent joints and it just this will function a little bit better at this point um, if we select all of these and uh, have no parent, so they basically have no parent, and this will uh, just allow us a little more control here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to IK chains node down, and this is going to come from the blend controls going to here, and this comes into here, and this will allow us to set up the chain. Now nothing's in here by default, so what we want to do is we want to add a plus here. And in this case, we're going to start, let's say, with the this side. And we're going to set up the hip, the knee, and the ankle. We're going to match by name and make sure we have blend set to one and orient tip on. Now we're going to add a plus here and we're going to do exactly the same thing for the right. Now, we could just type these in, but I'm going to go interactive. Just select these three. Match by name, blend on, and orient tip. Now we're going to go into here and we're going to put a rig pose here. We're going to put this right into here. Now this one is um, going to allow us to Let's go to the handle tool here. Let's collect the ankle. And if we move the ankle up and down, you'll see that it's it's working with kinematics. Let's zoom in there and we can really see that. So we go into there, we click that little box, and that allows us to set there. Now we're getting kinematics, but you notice how we're getting some flipping, some weird stuff going on. So that's that's something we have to, to fix. So the way we do this is we're going to add another rig pose here. And in this case, we're going to select the two knee joints and we're going to move them forward and I guess just up a bit. So we're just going to get them in front of the, the knee there. So now if we go back to this rig pose and we grab the ankle, we're not getting the, the same flipping because it's got something to point to and that's good and if we go to this rig pose and we grab that that handle you'll see that 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 affects the twist so this extra rig pose has got us setting up and working on the twist of that so both of these are, are doing what we want so we're going to put a skeleton blend and we're going to feed this into the first half, this into the second half, and we'll put that back into here. And just like we did before, um, if we go to here, you'll see things, we want things to be all set up. We want this to be in world space. So now if we go back up to here, and we collect the ankles, we can see, yes, this is doing what we want. 
Uh, we're going to layer a little more into this, but that's a good starting point. And if we want to just test this one, just make sure that it is doing what it's supposed to do. Yes, yes, that's doing what it's supposed to do as well. So there we go. We have the basic kinematics set up and feeding uh, into this system. Next, we're going to add a reverse foot uh, so that instead of controlling the ankle directly like this, we're going to control it with a reverse foot setup.